Hello everyone, this is Rezarat from Radicat. In this video, I want to talk about when you have merged cells in Excel and you want to import that in Power BI, how you can fill that merged cell value so that in Power BI you can show all the values correctly. Let's go and check it out in this video. When in Power BI you have merged cells, uh, like this example scenario that I'm showing to you, here you can see that I have uh, an Excel file uh, with values like these, like country, state, and the population. And there's a merged cell here that shows that all these states belong to United States. And then further down, I have states for Canada, and we might have states for other countries as well. This is a merged cell, as you can see. All of these is one value depending on the formatting. Sometimes it might be showing in the middle, sometimes it might be showing at the top, but it is a merged cell within Excel. When we want to bring that in Power BI, however, it would look like this. I'm going to close that. I'm going to open Power BI desktop and I'll start the importing from Excel. Uh, and I'll go into that folder that I'm getting data from. In Power Query, uh, one of the things you need to consider is that Power Query does not understand merged cell. Merging cells is a formatting option in front of Excel. The actual data is it's still individual cells. And what you see right now here is like different countries. Uh, let me enable zooming as well so that you can see it better. At the same time, um, so what you see here is like the first row has that and everything else is null, but still you see these like individual cell values. If I just load it like this, what is going to happen in Power BI is that um, your data would not be accurate. It would not be correct. You would have your slicers not slicing down the values correctly. Everything would have um, challenges because the values are not loaded correctly. Uh, like for example, if I have a table visual in here showing the data from this table, showing country, state, and population. Then if I have a slicer for the country, what happens is that when I select USA, I just see the very first row of USA. When I select Canada, I will just see the very first row of Canada and everything else is under blank. That is because the data is not correct, uh, correctly defined because we have all of those blank values in the country. So a uh, really simple fix to do that, uh, to, to fix it actually. What you need to do is to go to transform uh, data within Power Query. Uh, you don't have to go to Excel and change the data. Within Power Query, you can actually fix that with a very simple transformation. Uh, when you have values in uh, the very first row and then everything else is blank or null until the next set of rows starts, there's a really simple transformation you can use in Power Query. A lot of people are still not aware of that. Very useful. It is under the Transform tab, Fill. Now, there are two types of filling values. One is fill down, the other one is fill up. Fill down is exactly for this scenario. It will fill all of these values below this with whatever that value is until the next value starts. So all of these nulls would be USA until it gets to Canada, and from there it would be all Canada. And that's just as simple as that. I'll select fill down. And that's it, right? You see all of these USA and then from here, Canada. Fill up is exactly the opposite of that if you have the values at the bottom. Um, and that's about it. So when you do that fill down, uh, it fills all the values with the value from the very first row, which is from that merged cell. You'll just say close and apply. And everything in this after refresh should just work. You see there is nothing under blank now. Everything is correctly distributed USA and Canada. I don't have those blank values. So very simple transformation, very uh, very useful for, um, for especially scenarios that you have merged cells within Excel, that you can use that fill down and get all your values 
loaded correctly. This was a very short video just explaining this simple transformation in Power Query, which you can use it also in Power Query uh, in Power BI website, which is under data flow for Fabric or Power BI. I hope this video helped you to understand uh, this transformation and go and use it. Until the next video, bye. Thank you.